In this video, I'm gonna talk a little bit about how over the next couple of days, you can avoid getting back pain as a result of the Boxing Day sales and the likely shopping trips that are going to ensue after Christmas Day. So I'll go through a few things to watch out for, a few little helpful tips, and then a little exercise at the very end of this video, which we'll put a link into so you can watch the video of how to do that exercise at the end. First and foremost, when you're out on your trips, if possible, try and park close by. Uh, we went to an outlet the other day and actually parking really close to the outlet is really helpful because you can do a bit of shopping, drop it off in the car, do a bit of shopping, drop it off in the car. Because once you're carrying lots of bags around, you're gonna get very, very tired very quickly and you'll see people, they've got bags all the way down their arms trying to lug those things around and it's just not helpful. So take breaks to drop off your bags where possible. The second thing is take breaks during the day. If you can't do that, or even if you can, schedule a bit of time to maybe go around the shops for an hour or so, and then stop and have a, you know, a tea or something like that, or a coffee, uh, or just a general break uh, to enjoy the day, have a fun time, and not spend too much time in one go on your feet. That can make a real difference because it's that cumulative load. This next one's for ladies, and that's wearing high heels. You know you want to look great going out around the shops, but try and just turn those heels down a little bit. When you're wearing the high heels, what it tends to do is it tends to stick your bum out here, which creates a lot of shearing at the bottom part of your lower back. And if you then carry lots of bags, you tend to start to arch backwards a little bit, which puts a tremendous amount of pressure around here. Wearing something that's a little bit flatter, firstly, absorbs more shock, generally speaking, especially things like trainers. I know that may not be as fashionable. Um, but also, it positions your body in a much better position for going through that walking, etc. So you're gonna find it's a lot easier on your lower back. And the last thing is when you get in home after your day out, try this little exercise whereby you roll a small towel up and place it just underneath your lower back here, and that just gently allows to stretch and take pressure off these discs. If you've been up like that all day, carrying heavy weights, possibly sitting on the way to and from the shops, you, there's a lot of compression that goes down through this section in your lower back and just for two or three minutes lying over this gentle rolled up towel can really help alleviate some of the pressure on your lower back and just decrease the likelihood of any soreness later that day or the next day and if you do have a bit of soreness from the day out it'll hopefully ease some of that very very quickly combined with a little bit of ice over that bottom part of the lower back for no more than five minutes can be really helpful and as i mentioned at the outset of this video click the link somewhere in the description here and that'll take you to a full video that explains exactly how to do that exercise safely and why it's going to be beneficial for you thanks for watching thanks for taking the time to watch our video today uh, remember for more videos like this you can hit one of the buttons up here for videos on our back and shape program so you can work out from home and protect your back just click the button over here and remember to stay up to date with all our videos hit the subscribe button above my head thanks for watching